Hey there, y'all. Bonkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you. So, I got part two of this card chase box. Open part one. Another video. I'll post the link down below. But the first, uh, first bunch of packs in here were definitely good. Now, these came from another, I guess you'd say, garage find here in my garage. Uh, after packing and moving here a bunch of years ago, well, there's a bunch of boxes that still have not been gone through. And uh, also traveling around, uh, I might buy cards and boxes and packs. And when I leave there, I might pack them up. And uh, you know what? I, I Anyway, a whole bunch of stuff could happen. Um, so I found this and a couple others uh, that I'll be opening up in other videos. But I did open the first part of this box. As I said in another video not too long ago, I'm going to be busting through a bunch of these packs. Just get this card chase. That's it. Get this card chase box ready and done with see what kind of stuff we have here i'm gonna go through the babe ruth collection pack first that looks cool i don't think i've ever opened that i don't think i would have bought that back in the day so pretty cool if i'm not mistaken this is conlon collection isn't it might be not sure but it's the babe ruth collection so guaranteed we're gonna find at least one babe ruth on every card so let's see, what do we have here? We have Babe Ruth, Lifetime Pitching Statistics, 1916. Now these are nice looking cards, although, you know what? I, I guess over the years they may have gotten a little bit dinged up. Year in Review, Bats 272 with a, that's 1926, okay. We've got World Series, Yanks win first world championship, 1923. I have no idea what the PSA value is on these have never looked them up. This is place in history. Slugging percentage there, or slugging average, as they called it back when these were when these came out. Place in history. The backs of these cards got all sorts of statistics and where he ranked in what and all of that. So that's runs batted in. RBIs are ribbies. Career highlights, the called shot. That's a very cool card. Babe Ruth, of course, is the legend of legends. And there we go with the crown on his head. Never won a triple crown. Well, yeah, he never won a triple crown, that's for sure. I think he came cl real close in a few seasons. Bambino the man. Picture the dude riding the bicycle around. The Bambino and the man. Very cool card. And even if these don't have value, they're a nice, nice addition, nice little addition to a, to a collection. That's for sure. Babe contributes to the war effort. Babe Ruth, the man. Babe does his part. Card one thirty-five. And being remembered by daughter Dorothy. That's a cute picture of him. He is a daddy. He's a daddy. Not too long after Father's Day. That's a nice picture to see. I don't know how great of a daddy he was or not great or anything like that. That's not for me or anybody else really to decide. I mean, kids have their own opinions sometimes and everything is kind of relative. And of course, there's good and bad and all of that. But anyway, we'll stay away from all that right now. Got the Boston Red Sox and the Dodgers. Yeah, I forgot to say. These are 1988 Fleer Baseball. Got Chet Lemon, Eddie Lee Whitson, Ken Gerhardt, Ralph Bryant, Tony Phillips, Hubie Brooks, Kevin Seitzer, Tom Browning, Jose Guzman, Mookie Wilson, Wally Joyner, Bruce Ruffin, L -l 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 Lloyd Mosby, Steve Kiefer, and Pat Clements. Nothing at all in there worth frapping in that pack. Let's get on to another one here. See what we find in the next. All right, we got 1991 Premier Edition Top Stadium Club First Series 12 Premium Quality Kodak Cards. Now, these printed on photo paper. Is that a price tag from way back when? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Somebody got that. Or they were selling them at that time for $2.99. Now, the bad thing about these, of course, is after all these years, you don't know how they were stored or anything. There can be some bricking, and that makes it really not fun. But better to do it in a long video than a short, that's for sure, because there is no way to get it done. I have definitely tried. Can't beat the brick. Okay. 
propaganda card. We got J Bell. And yep, we got some stickage going on there. Not bad though. Doc Gooden, all right. You know what? I'll frapper him up. I mean, during his time, he was definitely a great. Jose Uribe. Don Robinson. Larry Walker. All right. Nice early card of his. Not his Wookiee. That would have been right before. Still a great card. Greg Brock. I don't think there were too many rookies in the 91 Stadium Club set. Got Matt Noakes. The Yankees there. Todd Zeal. Now, that, that, that dude looks like he's going to be jumping through the top of the card. Mike Fetters. And Doug Jones. And... Saberhagen. And for last, we got Tony Phillips. So two frapperable cards in there. Get those up on the Wall of Fame. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer. And the Doc. Great pitcher. Not Hall of Fame. One of those coulda, woulda, shouldas, but didn't do it. Got a 1989 Tops here. No price tag on that one. And we got a stick of gum inside there. I feel the gum. Nasty wax stain on the back of that one. So, 1989 gum. And here we go. Whoop. Almost broke the table. Yeah. Don't do that at home, kids. That gum is very nasty. I mean, you're talking 34-year-old gum at this point. Yeah. Maybe made the year before. It just turns to powder. Donnie Hill, Stan Jefferson. Ooh, Don Mattingly. All right, nice all-star card there. Very cool. We can frapper that up. Greg Booker, Pasquale Perez. Propaganda. Bobby Meacham. David Wells, nice early card of him. Van Slyke, Bob Welch, Joel Alexander. Hal Lanier, Rich Gedman, and Steve Buscelli. So, yeah, we'll get the Mattingly, Donnie Baseball, and a Frapper there. Keep him on the other side. Now, uh, the 88 tops. Let's see what's in this one. And no, I'm not eating the second piece of gum in this. No. no. Yeah, I'll wait for when I crack the box of uh, 88 Cello is one of the boxes I have on the shelf here. Got a whole bunch of boxes of 88 Cellos in not too long ago. Alright. Propaganda. Toss that to the side. Joe Johnson. James Steeles. Charlie Ho. Huff. Mike Campbell. Tom Bolton. Donnie Moore. Dave Magadan. Gum stain on him. Chris James. Gary Lucas. Cecilio Guante, Bob Forsh, Fred Manrique, Manrique, Todd Worrell, Joel Skinner, and Floyd Rayford. Let's wrap that pack up. All right, we'll do the 1990 score baseball next. Still haven't hit really anything all that good. But, you know, not every pack has a winner, that's for sure. But still, after all these years, going through these, it's definitely fun. Rehashing, rethinking, reliving. Just different times back when. And, you know, baseball kind of does it. It's one of those things, even though the game has changed a whole lot since then. All right, we got Fernando Mania, Valenzuela, that is. Dave Magadan. Not Elvis Presley, but Jim Presley. Mike Devereux. Scott Bradley, Mike Gallego, the MVPs, Robin Yount, very cool. Oh, that's nice. Got a highlight card of Wade Boggs, Dennis Lamp, Jim Eisenreich, Henry Cotto, Gary Templeton, Dwayne Ward. Looks like he's going to be throwing it to the floor there. He's going to make a hole in the floor. It's going to be a Bugs Bunny thing. Steve Jolts, Greg Vaughn, huh. 
Woulda, coulda. I'll keep that up on the side. Todd Zeal, another one that was supposed to be a great rookie. And uh, he, he had a good, moderate, mediocre career. It was not uh, Hall of Famer. He had a lot of talk when he was coming up. I know everybody was, everybody then was watching him. He was one of the can't-miss prospects. And, uh, well, he kind of swung and missed. All right, three packs left. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm going to do the 90 upper deck. Looking for the griff in there, of course. Well, the griff would be cool, but there's others. The griff would be a fun find. Any Hall of Famers would be. All right, we got Steve Wilson. And, of course, the standard flippage, Kevin Bass. That's not a trout, that's a bass. Ken Howell. Jeff King. Ooh, the New York Yankees. Steve Balboni. <laughs> San Francisco Giants. All right. And you know what? I'm going to get those in some kind of order. Uh, favorite name, L -L 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 Lloyd Mosby. Chip Hale. Hey, Chip. Oh, okay. I see a Sheffield card there. Chris Sabo. Sheffield. Second, second, third year card. Second year card. His rookie was the 89. Not Hall of Fame yet. I, I think someday he will be. He'll, he'll get his due. Henry Cotto Cheese. Mike Susha. Jeff Weatherby. Dave Schmidt and Dennis Powell. So, once again, not much in there. Some dead packs in a lot of ways. I mean, they're fun. They're definitely great to goof on and memories and all, but not many hits in any of these. I don't know, people. All right, we'll get back down to the 88 Donruss. Got Jody Davis, L. Sid Fernandez. Nice picture of the ball coming out of his hand already there. Chris Bazio, Mike Kruko, Bob Kipper. <laughs> Benito Santiago, Kevin Gross, Mike Scott, Bob Forsh, Wally World, Jeff Reed, Donnie Hill, Mike Witt, Jim Deshays, and Gary Matthews. A bunch of junk in these. I mean, 90% of these players I can't even say were mediocre. They're, they're scrubs of the scrubby dub dubs. Well, maybe this one will redeem them all. For some reason, I doubt it, but you never know. All right, we got ourselves a shiny puzzle piece. That is cool. It's very shiny. We're looking at Heathcliff Slocum. I guess he changed his name from Heathcliff to Heath for this card. Glenn Braggs. I mean, he's swinging hard. I, I don't know if he had much to brag about. Vance Law. Jason Grimsley. All right. Well, we got a nice hit there. Frank Thomas. Very cool card. Dennis Martinez. Robbie Alomar. Another Hall of Famer. Jose Rijo. Randy Johnson. All right. So we're waiting for the Leaf to be the big pack. Steve Lake. Ron Darling. Jimmy Jones. Mario Diaz. Jeff Gray and Bam Bam Mullins. Now, if you look at the edge there, I mean, that's a really weird cut. You can see all the serrations. All right, so, not bad, not great. It was definitely fun finding them, though. I mean, I bought them a few years ago with the intention to open them or hold them and then flip it out. But uh, instead, you know what? Open them. Open them. Bought them, I think, way back when I was thinking about doing card opening videos and ended up not doing it at that time and waited until after the pandemic to start filming. Anyway, that's the hits. Them's the hits. Hope you enjoyed. Y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bonkle out.